All right, guys. Uh, so as promised, this will be the unboxing of Swiss K31 rifle. Uh, got this from Centerfire Systems. Uh, recently, they announced like a 30th anniversary. So they're running these rifles right now for uh, I think 3.99. Um, I got in on the first batch. Um, hopefully, the better batch. I don't know, um, but we're about to find out. I also ordered um, a set me kit while I was at it, um, just because they're super cheap and you know, got some cool stuff with it. So, without further ado, let's see if I can get into this box. Kind of a really strange way of packing it. But whatever. Let's get into this thing. the rifle. Wow, this thing is really in there. Oh, so one thing I didn't explain is, so they had these things in, when they first started making them, uh, they had like a birch or a walnut stock. Looks like I got lucky. This one looks like it's got a nice, beautiful walnut stock. Um, and then I think later on they switched to birch. Uh, you guys can correct me in the comments if you want to on that. Um, but, you know, it's pretty cool to still be able to get one of these, especially in really good shape. Uh, I think these were advertised as um, good or maybe good to very good. Um, they did state that the bolts would match the receivers. Um, I don't know anything about the barrels, um, but from what I've been told, or what I've been able to learn, you know, learn myself, the critical thing is making sure that you have a barrel, I mean a bolt matched to a receiver. Um, one item of particular note is, uh, you know, these things, they shipped without magazines. Um, Centerfire said that they had actually received them without magazines. So, here she is. And that's perfectly fine. You can get uh, magazines from like uh, keepshooting.com. They sell new um, new production mags, which work like a champ in these. But, man, this thing looks really nice. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Rifle. Let me, let me flip this over. Okay. So. 667030. They said that it would match. So. And the cool thing about these rifles, it's one of the only ones in the world like this. It has a straight pull bolt. So as you push forward, what happens is the bolt actually rotates and locks into place. I'll demonstrate. Um. 667-030, so that matches. Now, what you guys probably didn't see, 030. Now, I'm not going to profess to know everything about these rifles. I would assume that this barrel is actually, you know, numbers matched as well. Um, but holy crap, this thing looks beautiful. It looks in great, great shape this tag off here I mean the wood it's got some scratches some dings in it yeah I, I expect that okay yeah that's not a big deal um, the bands there's a little bit of wear on the band right there not a deal killer um, move this further down you can see this side and I flipped it um, Got an import mark there. Um, <laughs> century arms, imagine that. Uh, a little bit of tiny amount of rust here. Wow, this thing looks wonderful. Let's look at the butt plate. Really cool. Um, you know, look at that. You guys can't see this. You may not get to see it. It's got that Swiss stamp in there. That's cool. 
that's really cool I mean you don't see stuff like this anymore especially in this condition now um, which you guys probably already know if you're watching this video you know these things were chambered in 75 by 55 Swiss years ago you could get the GP 11 rounds which was the 75 by 55 Swiss that was their match grade ammunition very good ammunition um, a little bit of rust there I'll clean that up um, but otherwise uh, you know you could get the ammunition relatively cheap Unfortunately, nowadays, the only two manufacturers I know of that's making the 75 by 55 Swiss is Privy Partisan and I believe Hornady makes it. Uh, Norma currently isn't, I don't know if they're not producing it, making it, shipping it to the U.S. I have no idea what's going on there. They used to make it. Um, so your options are pretty limited. Um, you know, um, if you want to shoot one of these rifles, I mean, now, what's really cool, you this is how this action works. You literally grab this, yank it back, and it's ready to rock. Um, this is actually your safety. Um, straight up and down for fire. Pull it back. Actually, pull it back, turn it, and it's on safe. See? Also, you can't actuate your bolt. That's their safety. You know. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, my camera died. <laughs> so I had to go charge the battery. So here we are back again. Um, I was just going to tell you guys real quick. Um, so these are um, those aftermarket mags um, that KeepShooting.com sells. Um, I wouldn't say they're you know the best but they will certainly work um, for your Swiss K31 should you decide to buy one of these um, you know they serve the purpose otherwise you're gonna be these are like 50 bucks a piece otherwise you're gonna end up spending probably over a hundred dollars for one of these um, I just couldn't bring myself to do it especially since you know I'm just gonna be using it in here um, but um, anyway um, one of the things I was going to tell you about this rifle is it's got a two-stage trigger. So what's really interesting, let's go ahead and take this mag out. What's really interesting is when you, obviously, you guys, I don't know if you can see in there, it is indeed unloaded. Um, you actually see the rotating bolt mechanism there. Um, when you go to pull the trigger on it, there's a lot of take up. See that? It's actually a two-stage trigger. Um, and once you get it taken up, I want to say it's like a three and a half pound pull, maybe four and a half pound pull from there. It's actually pretty light um, for a rifle. Um, but anyway, um, I'm just going to end this real quick before <laughs> before my camera dies again. Um, I'll put the link down in the description. These are three ninety nine currently through Centerfire Systems. Um, part of their 30th anniversary sale. Um, I don't know if you really call that a sale, but hey, when you can't find them, you can't find them. Um, and I think the I think the current batch, which isn't this batch, mine was the first, current I believe is the second, um, comes with a sling. So you get a sling with it, which is pretty cool. You still don't get a magazine, um, but like I said, keepshooting.com. I'll put a link in the description on how you get these. Um, it's the cheapest replacement mag I've seen. Um, and works. Um, so anyway, if you guys like it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, be my guest. It's up to you guys. Um, so there it is, Swiss K31 uh, from Center Fire Systems for the grand sum of $399. This is a Kiro and Relic. So those of you that are Type 3 FFL holders, buy it. You get shipped straight to your door. So thanks. You guys have a great day.